Another year, another batch of hopefully not misleading trailers. Fingers crossed for a slightly more interesting year than last year. And three original Disney films is a good start. You've come to the right tavern. Oh no. Not exactly the Zootopia sequel I was hoping for. From the start onward, felt like it had a somewhat more gimmicky premise than Pixar's usual fare. Maybe it's because the modernized fantasy creatures thing feels a little Shrek. Maybe it's because Chris Pratt's at this point overexposed voice makes the whole celebrity casting feel a little bit more blatant. Still, modernized fantasy creatures where unicorns are the equivalent of raccoons, I am looking forward to seeing how they interpret this world and listing all the reasons on how they do it better than Right. Not sure who decided on the lower half of Dead Dad escort mission for its plot, though I'm pretty sure it has plenty of weakened at Bernie's s comedic potential. I admit I'm not Spider-Verse excited, but at this point the premiere has already happened and the reactions are positive and allude that it will be another tearjerker. And really, at this point, I'll take an original Pixar film about anything. Our ancestors created six strings, each for a different type of music. A movie that consists of fetch quests into various worlds to find pieces of an artifact that wields powerful magic when brought together? Boy, that's... original? Well, if you're basically going to exist just for advertising pop music, you might as well drown in it. Going in with that headspace from the start, it'll probably be fine. The first Trolls turned out fine despite the worst teaser in history, and that might actually include the Emoji Movie. Hopeful hypothesis that the message will be a very much needed one about not being bound to only like one thing, not to look down on other people for daring to like something you like, and no one style of music is automatically superior. Though I was gonna make a joke about the fact that the film maybe inadvertently suggests that these six genres were automatically superior by suggesting they were the only ones in existence, but then in the latest trailer they mentioned that smooth jazz was a thing, so they were ahead of me on that one. I'm made out of sage and I am a sage, so it works out pretty well. I'm Patrick! My name means toaster in Celtic. Pretty sure it doesn't. Oh my god, the designs on this make me so happy! And is that a little bit of Spider-Verse influence in the frame rate? This looks funny. No other thoughts. Base amounts of mustache oil, 12-year-old scotch. Ugh, is the bad guy my dad? Like with Spongebob, I am really happy that more people are adapting more cartoon-like designs into their CGI films, but those goddamn celebrity voice casts! I may not have liked The Addams Family, but the one thing I give it credit for is that even though they still had celebrity voices, those voices sounded exactly like those characters. Nick Kroll's Fester was practically perfect. Here, they still sound off, but at least the voices for Scooby and Shaggy are making an effort, though Scooby is way too articulate. But the others, pff, who cares? We just need famous people. But design-wise, it looks great, it looks super cute. There are loads of Hanna-Barbera references, so reservations, but I'm looking forward to it. Spend your precious hours doing what will bring out the real you. No idea what this is about, but Pixar giving sentient life to non-sentient things is another thing in their wheelhouse. Taking a guess that it's gonna be heavily focused on personal passion, and I bet it's gonna feature a lot of great music. Is this... is this what I think it is? Okay, so like, four or five years ago, I came across this clip for a Chinese animation movie called Master Zhang and the Six Kingdoms, and it looked incredible. But other than that clip, there was pretty much no other information about this movie. Now, Zhang might very well be a very popular name or word in China, and this may have no connection to that at all. But some of the designs do look a little similar, so that it might be a reworking of that movie or project. I mean, for all I know, this could just be somebody's failed Indiegogo. Still, even if it is something completely unrelated, it still looks beautiful, and finally, for once, we're actually gonna get a Chinese animated film coming to our theaters, if only one or two of them, instead of having to track down- Ah, fuck! What? Do you think people are gonna get infected through the celluloid? Did you just trade my future 
for a bat rock! AKA things that Cell would rather be watching number two and blatantly only bothering to do an illumination review to get views. I'm just owning it now. Yes, there's some great designs in here. And I see you doing what Seagal did in the first movie. Haha, <laughs> very cute. Yes, the trailer has both exciting and funny moments. Have we not gone over tons of times now that Illumination makes really good trailers and really mediocre movies? Meet the helper bot. We promise you they will never, ever turn in. Ah, yes, the previous Michelle's vs. the Machines movie, but that title wasn't generic and one word enough. And another robot rebellion because technology is bad. But I do love the character design. It's also trying to do the CGI 2D hybrid thing. It's another Lord Miller project and the creative director of Gravity Falls. So, yeah, I'm gonna watch it. Oh. Oh, please tell me I can translate this title as I wear a cat on my head. This one's about a girl who turns into a cat so she can spend time with her crush. So it's the best part of the second Sailor Moon movie. And she does it by putting on a cat mask. Yes! Yes! That is the correct translation! I'm sorry, this is amazing to me because when I was studying Japanese, I was just really amused that Japan had a verb specifically for wearing things on your head. So whenever anyone would ask me if I could say something in Japanese, my go-to was always Neko o kaburimasu, which literally means to wear a cat on my head. And now we have a movie with that title! Or specifically, I want to cry, I wear a cat on my head. This is a race against time. We're the only heroes on this island. We're the only ones who can save the people here. We're gonna kick the crap out of these losers. Number four in the US? I mean, on a slow weekend, but wow. Where were all you people for Silent Voice? And I did enjoy the Hero Academia movie with the really bland subtitle, as the only thing I really wanted to see from it was for the rest of Class 1A, that wasn't the main two leads, to have their own badass moments, which they did, except for the three that never do anything. It had some cute character moments, but it's mostly just a lot of action like the DBZ movies. But there is one really cool development that happens at the end that has to be completely undone because it's an anime movie and can't interfere with the series continuity, so everything has to be reset to zero. And for those curious, check it out if you want to, but you do kind of have to at least watch through season three, which you should do anyway. There is also Children of the Sea coming to some theaters here, though it's technically a movie from last year. And from what I hear, it's really pretty, but story-wise, well, it's the Studio 4C, which means it's the guys who did MFKZ and Animatrix and Mind Game. So chances are it's going to be creative and confusing. And the big Disney Thanksgiving weekend product will be Raya and the Last Dragon. A little bit more Technicolor than I was expecting, but sure, go for it. Which also may not be the only Chinese dragon related movie, as we also might get Wish Dragon with its genie premise. Gee, it's almost like we just found out that China was a really big box office generator or something. But if they are trying to pander to the Chinese audience, I'm not sure if they're going in the right direction with all of this dragon emphasis. Because just by going by what they themselves put into their own animated products, you need to make a whole bunch of stuff based on their mythology, including gods. A hundred movies dedicated to the Monkey King, whatever Boonies Bears is, is apparently doing really well. And you also just need inexplicable magic lights that do things. And okay, I guess Neza, the biggest Chinese animated film so far, technically has a dragon in it. And now for all of the other movies that likely have very fluid release dates. The Bob's Burger movie. Yes, yes to all of this. And it's gonna be about Louise's ears and it's gonna be a musical. Oh my god, I'm so happy. The Tom and Jerry movie. So I was a little late to the party hearing that this would be partly live action, which set off the predictable alarm bells. I I hear a lot of conflicting things about the potential style and aesthetic this movie will have, but the fact is is that without a trailer, we won't know. I guess the news that really makes me doubtful is the fact that none of the people at the top are animation people. I do not think that this was made as a creative choice, I think this was done to save money and time. Real FX's Rumble about humans making monsters wrestle. No potential social commentary there. Netflix's Willoughby's, something about kids killing their parents, that could be fun. The new Phineas and Ferb movie on Disney+. Plus. Wolfwalkers, another movie by the studio of Secret of Kells and Breadwinner that will come out sometime. Over the Moon from Abominable's Pearl Studio, a 
musical about a girl who builds a rocket to find the moon goddess. See? Involving gods. That's a very Chinese animation sounding idea. And another part of the second Sailor Moon movie. And finally, Croods 2. Sure. In the meantime, we also have plenty of non-theatrical stuff that's been released lately, like Glitch Tex, Owl House, the Harley Quinn series, Kippo is great. And the final episodes of Steven Universe are coming next month. Oh, and also, Azo Ken people, watch it! And that's all the big news so far. And let me know about other potential movies coming out that I missed. That's true also for all year long, just let me know on recent movie news that I might not have heard of.